for reintegration. Hello guys and welcome back to Pugaroo Plays. In this one I'll be showing you how I utilize the uh, user interface in, in flight mode um, when you're flying around. Specifically centering on systems and subsystems. And the best way to utilize the UI to your benefit. Without further ado, let's get into the ship. Okay, let's get to grips with the basic HUD setup. On the top left hand side you have your ship information. You've got the options for overall, heads up display. You've got weapons display, power display, and the shield display. You can quickly call for the information for any of these systems using the F1 to F4 keys. F1 is for overview, F2 for weapons, F3 for power, and F4 for shields. Alright, so let's explore those subsystems. First of all, the overview. As you can see here, we can have a look at the mounted weapons we have, the lasers, the badges, and you can turn them on and off here as well if you wish, if you want to um, only use specific weapons for certain jobs, missions, when you're in combat as well. It's just really handy to be able to control them separately. Here we have the weapon overview. On this one you can clearly see all the weapons uh, and missile pods that you have available to you. Now this right here, this section here, weapon group 1, this is your left mouse button, number 2 is your right mouse button, and number 3 for me is the back button on the side of my mouse. Now. It's completely down to preference what you choose to do with your weapons, but in my knowledge, I usually end up putting the third group with my missile pods that you can see me taking off and putting on here. So that's on my side mouse button. Okay, so what I do as well with the right mouse button and the left mouse button is I use the right mouse button for the fixed wing weapons and the left mouse button for the uh, weapons that move around with my rectangle in game. This in my mind, or at least for me, is better performance in fights. You can limit your heat usage, use one set for one thing and then if you find they're overheating you can change to the other set, but it is advisable to keep an eye on the weapon's heat and ammo at all times. Here you can see the power distribution. You have group 1, group 2 and group 3. Those correspond to group 1 being weapons, group 2 being engines and avionics and group 3 being shields. Here you can see the power throttle for your ship. Now obviously you can see that turning this right down is generally a bad idea. But for the purpose of this tutorial I wanted to teach you about this display just on the bottom left. A ship's signature is a combination of electromagnetic radiation refraction properties combined with thermal and visible band radiations that combine together to form a telltale sign of an anomalous object in space. Next up we have the shields. Now as you can see I've only got a two shield configuration front and back. With the shields, you can directly control where your shields are being powered to. The maximum power to the rear obviously increases the shield at the rear. The maximum shield to the front, shield focus goes to the front. You can change any of these options on the fly in game with the numpad buttons. And you use numpad 2 to reinforce the rear shields. Numpad 8 to reinforce the front, numpad 4 the left, and numpad 6 the right. You can reset the shield modification at any time by using numpad 5. So we've had a look at all the subsystems and everything that's available to us, be it mounted weapons, shields, modifications. When it comes down to situations in fights, to utilize all the options that are available to you, 
If, say, for instance, you get yourself into a massive dogfight, you need to start thinking about using your power management. Now, that's easy. You can do that whilst flying around using your numpad, or you can use Home to bring up the ability to have a mouse and interact with the UI itself. For protecting yourself in a hard situation, just hit number three, which will increase the power to your shields, and then utilize the numpad keys to change the direction that you need the shields to be strongest. Now, take this in advice. Every single time that you buff or mod a different system to have more power, um, you obviously take away from the other systems. That's just one of those things that you're going to have to make a judgement call for. I think we are done for the basic uh, UI tutorial on subsystems. I'm hoping this helps some people, and please watch in the future for other tutorials. Like, subscribe, comment. Thanks for watching, people. See you next time.